So in my last video I was describing the fact that I had a device that was going to be able to allow for continuous printing from a filament 3D printer. Well, I just want to show it to you folks now. This is the device. I've mounted it on the extruder that I have on all of my printers. And let me just show you how it works. So right now, and you're going to have to just bear with me here, I don't have an actual roll set up and this is obviously not connected to a printer. But if you uh, just imagine this green filament you see here would be the existing roll that is getting ready to run out. And then behind it you see this yellow filament. Well, that's the roll that's uh, coming in behind it. So as I pull this through, and as I get to the very bottom, it's going to move quickly because I'm not actually motorized. As soon as I get past a certain point, the next roll of filament keeps coming on down through. And it'll just keep printing on. All right, guys, so I'm back again. So in my earlier part of my video, I was telling you about the uh, ability to keep printing if your filament's about to run out uh, without missing a beat. So a couple of weeks ago, I came up with this device you see here. Now, it is specifically made to bolt onto the dual gear extruder that you've probably all seen on Amazon uh, or on eBay. Uh, I've converted all of my printers to use this extruder. I like it. It's a dual gear unit. It's rock solid. You just have to calibrate your E-steps because uh, it's greatly reduced from any of the BMG or um, the gear drive units. And sometimes you have to reverse, obviously, your stepper motor uh, polarity or... or um, uh, the pins on your motor or you can change it in your firmware but that's a whole nother topic the important thing is what this device does is as one filament is running out it will load the next filament right behind it uh, and even account for the retraction so that it doesn't interfere with the mechanism so uh, I'll just show you how it works you'll see there's a, a piece of red filament that it represents the filament that's about to run out on your spool uh, and then the green filament is sitting in waiting until the red runs out so I'm just going to trigger an extrusion uh, bear with me while I set it up and there we go so you'll see the red is is leaving the device at uh, a speed of 75 millimeters per second and you see the little piece in foreground, that's what allows it to stay out of the way of the next filament coming in. But as the red filament runs out, the green filament follows right behind it and gets picked up by the feed wheels and just keeps on pressing down through the extruder. So far I've had no problems whatsoever with it uh, continuing to print. I don't get any blobs, uh, even though the retractions are happening inside the Bowden tube. Um, and the so if the extruder is pulling back on the new filament and there's still a piece of old filament in the Bowden tube it doesn't seem to really affect it that much I'm thinking that's because the pressure is released during a retraction uh, I've got some examples of some cubes uh, calibration cubes that I printed with as many as four different five different color filaments back to back and it's as if it was all printed with one continuous string of filament so uh, there you have it uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how it all works and goes together.